someone up. Mind yourself, there's a bit of bell rope to hang on to so you don't have an accident on the way up. Thank you very much. Wow, look at this. Very complicated. It is, um, but we're really pleased with the way it's been laid out. So with some exceptions, um, this level is the, the business end, the, the organ's administration, if you like. So here are the wind reservoirs and you'll notice it's all quite traditional and handcrafted. You might think there's an efficient machine made in a Japanese factory that does, or a German factory that does perfect wind supply. Actually, we don't do it like that. We have traditional bellows with weights on the top. You see that says W, w for Walker, JWW, JW Walker, the original weights. So um, is there a reservoir of air that's constantly ready to be pumped out exactly. so whichever pipes are opened? Exactly. And the, the pressure is not absolutely perfectly constant. If it's, if it's too wayward, that's bad and you'd notice it, but it's not absolutely perfectly constant. And actually that's a good thing. It's more live, more natural. And does that affect the volume only or does it affect the tuning of the organ as well? Tuning, very, just, just slightly imperceptibly. Okay. This is amazing. If it really affects the tuning, it's too much. Yes. So over here is the, the receiving end of the electronic transmission. much much more complicated than I would have imagined and then above our heads concealed but accessible with a screwdriver is all the mechanisms the, the, the magnetic thingies that open and close right when I play the notes amazing You can see all the pipes. So the pipes literally span the entire depth of the organ. It's absolutely everywhere. They do. Let me show you some of them. Over here is the 32 footer, the, the reed uh, type pedal base pipes. Um, they don't make many of them there aren't many churches that have room for one in fact ours was the first one and briefly the only one in anywhere in Essex or in the Chelmsford diocese I'm not going to take them apart to demonstrate but in the wooden boot is the tongue that vibrates to make the note and then tucked into it is the resonator and there isn't room for literally a 32 foot resonator so the bottom half dozen of them are half length but down to f sharp is the full length as if it were as if the bottom were going to be 32 feet literally should we go up to the next level oh, there's another level oh wow okay The guy who designed this organ is young and slim. <laughs> wow. Oh, I had no idea there was a whole second level. Amazing. This is like being on the obstacle course back at school cadet corps. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Quite a challenge. We're inside the swell box. So flue pipes, all the fluty and stringy ones and the diapasons, the, which are the ones that sound like, like an organ pipe as opposed to being imitative, they're all here. Here are the, the reeds. 
This one's, I think this one's the oboe with its tongue sticking out there. And then these little guys down here, they're the Vox Humana, that's the uh, kind of th theatre organ sound. And behind us are the trumpets. Along with the very bass pipes of the flue work that wouldn't fit on the soundboard. And because we're tight for space, there are even some on the ceiling. Oh yeah. And then you're looking at the shutters that open and close electronically when I work the expression pedal. So what, what does that change in the sound? Uh, it muffles it when, right. when those are closed. It's quieter and, and a more muffled tone. Amazing. It's hard to believe how many pipes are on this organ. It's unbelievable. Wow. Well, thank you very much for showing us that. Pleasure. Very kind.